What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video and today we are going to be going through the contents of Global's latest data download for June 29th, 2023, roughly a week out from the start of the 8th anniversary celebration. Now as always, before we get into it, I want to give a shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all the assets. If you guys aren't already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. And uh, with that said, let's scroll down a little bit here and start with the Extreme Z Awakenings for two Gotenkses. This is the AGL Super Saiyan Gotenks, and this one is the uh, STR Base Gotenks, and both of these will be dropping in less than 24 hours from now on June 30th. And from there, we have uh, four additional World Tournament Extreme Z Awakenings for this Demon King Piccolo, this Kaioken Goku, this uh, Z Sword Gohan, and finally this buff Goku. So in total, that's going to be six Extreme Z Awakenings dropping tomorrow along with the new World Tournament as well. And after that, we have a new Super Battle Stage, Stage 67, Corroded Body and Mind Only. And here is a quick look at the map. It looks like all the other ones, so nothing too special there. And we also have a new battlefield. Now this one's actually going to be a special edition 8th anniversary battlefield. And as you can see from the assets, we have some different enemies this time around. Uh, there's a Turles at the bottom right there. Uh, we have, uh, you know, uh, Vegeta. We have, uh, who else? Um, oh, Omega Shenron, as well as Kid Buu. And I believe the final boss is a GT Spirit Bomb Goku. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't remember all the bosses from the anniversary, but I do know this one is a special edition battlefield for the anniversary with a whole new set of enemies. So uh, that's going to be pretty interesting since, you know, we've been fighting the same enemies for a while now on Global, right? So uh, yeah, new battlefield, special battlefield, and uh, we have our standard world tournament promos right here for, you know, tickets and other ticket banners and stuff like that and another world tournament promo with uh, the special uh, titles you know you can get for placing uh, top 1000 top 10,000 and also of course first place overall I doubt anyone watching is gonna be getting this one but you have a pretty good chance of getting either this one or this one if you put in some work in this uh, tournament which um, I'm not sure if I'm going to but We'll see, we'll see. I'll probably get the 10,000. I think that's doable. Top 1,000 is unlikely, but not impossible. Anyways, uh, after that, we have the 8th anniversary countdown images, which will start appearing in the game starting tomorrow because, you know, uh, starting tomorrow, we'll be seven days away from the anniversary. And then after that, six days, five days, so on and so forth, right? So. Uh, from the top, we have seven days until our eighth anniversary, six days until our eighth anniversary, five days, four days, three days, two days, and last but not least, one day until our eighth anniversary. And here are some things from the files, which I guess are just the uh, images for the countdown, so nothing too crazy there. We also have some small fixes to some existing assets uh, for Spirit Bomb Goku cards. Apparently the Korean Super Attack phrases needed to be updated somehow. Um, I think the main change is just like the layout of the text, but I could be wrong. I can't read uh, Korean, you know, so I'm not really sure what changed. Uh, oh, there's 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 more dots here. There's three dots at the bottom. Okay, that's different. But yeah, anyways, some kind of change to the text for the Korean Super Attack of the Spirit Bomb Goku cards. And then we also have some existing changes, or sorry, some changes to existing uh, cards uh, or card assets for these three characters. So for this guy, they added details to his gloves. Okay, so his gloves are more detailed. And then for these guys, uh, the Ball Sackhead brothers, they added some coloring to their boots, apparently. 
Uh, I think there's a side-by-side -side comparison. Yeah, there's a side-by-side -side comparison right here. Oh, these are for the Peton battle cards. Okay, so uh, I can see that the gloves have some lines on the right side, which is different. Okay, cool. And then on this one, um, oh yeah, so the tip of the boots are now colored in as opposed to just red before. And same thing for this guy as well. Okay, very cool, very cool. Definitely needed that, definitely was uh, something I was, I was very concerned about, you know? So um, I'm glad they <laughs> finally made those changes. And then we have some non-translated assets, which of course are for things that are not ready for release yet, but they're going to be released soon. So we have the Extreme Z battle assets for LR Kale and Khalifla. Very, very excited for this one. And then we also have some uh, untranslated assets for the 3000 day title, which looks amazing. I'm still pretty far from this, but if you guys are close, I'm stoked for you because this... Yeah, this is just beautiful. This title is 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 incredible. And uh, we also have this Kid Goku and Kid Krillin uh, support memory asset as well. And that pretty much does it for this data download, guys. There's uh, nothing else of note really to, to mention. But before we go, I'm going to quickly just break down the Extreme Z Awakening details for these two Gotenks in case you guys care. Um, if you don't care about that, then obviously that's the end of the video for you. Feel free to click off. Thank you for watching. But if you want to see a little bit more, then let's pop over to the uh, uh, Dokkan Wiki, the OG Dokkan Wiki, and start here with the STR uh, Go Tanks. His leader skill after the Extreme Z Awakening is. Uh... Oh, this is interesting. Why is it laid out like this? That's weird. Okay, anyways, um, HP plus 100%, key plus 3, attack and defense plus 100% when HP is 30% or above. Um, I'm assuming it's just key plus 3, HP, attack and defense plus 100% when HP is 30% or above. Um, or all types, I, I, I guess. Yeah, I think that's what it is, but it's laid out kind of weird, so it's kind of confusing. Um, I don't know why they kept this HP restriction in the leader skill, that's very strange. Not something we really see these days, but it is what it is, I guess. And uh, Super Attack raises defense for one turn and causes supreme, supreme damage and raises allies attack by 30% for one turn. Passive attack and defense plus 100% plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when performing a super attack plus an additional attack plus 100% and chance of taking, sorry, chance of performing a critical hit and chance of evading enemy attacks, including super attacks as the first attacker in a turn. Um, oh yeah, so it's chance, which is 30%. I was kind of confused for a second because I was like, what kind of chance is it? Is it medium chance or high chance or great chance, whatever? So it's 30% for each of these. A 30% chance for a crit and 30% chance for a dodge as the first attacker. E plus one plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% chance of performing a critical hit and chance of evading enemy attacks including super attacks plus 20% per heavenly events, self-excluded category ally attacking in the same turn. So if you have a full heavenly events, um, oh wow, yeah, if you have a full heavenly events rotation, then you're getting an additional 40% crit chance and 40% dodge chance. So that's gonna bump things up to 70% dodge and 70% crit, which is, Pretty wild. That's that's actually pretty pretty wild. Of course, you need him to be in the first slot as the first attacker, but um, yeah, that's that's quite good. So a uh, really solid Extreme Z Awakening for this SDR Go Tanks, and let's uh, check out this AGL Super Saiyan Go Tanks as well. Leader skill: All types keep plus three attack and defense plus eighty percent. Uh, no HP. Wow, okay. And then, uh, <laughs> super attack raises defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and greatly lowers defense. And passive is key plus three and high chance of evading an attack for five turns from start of turn. Attack and defense plus 50%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 20%, per key sphere obtained, plus an additional attack and defense plus 80% when performing a super attack, changes tech key spheres to AGL key spheres when there's another uh, rapid growth category ally attacking in the same turn. And then rapid growth category allies, key plus three, 
uh, my bad key plus one and attack and defense plus 30 percent so this guy's a nuker uh, he's a bit of a support unit as well and um yeah not as exciting to me honestly as the str go tanks with that 70 percent crit chance and dodge but this guy's still pretty good especially um, you know, with the orb changing, he can get a lot of orbs per turn. He's going to be doing some good damage, getting some good defense. Um, and for the first five turns, he's getting a 50% chance to dodge still. So, uh, yeah, really good. Really good. Both of these go tanks, I think, are great substitutes if you need something for, you know, uh, one of these categories, whether it be hybrid Saiyans or fusion. Um, obviously, you know, uh, if, wait, hold on. Yeah, Rapid Growth, which is this guy, uh, his support passive, and also this guy is getting, you know, additional 20% dodge chance and crit chance for heavenly events, so definitely a good um, substitute for a heavenly events team for this guy. So uh, with all that said, yeah, that is pretty much going to do it for the video, guys. That is your data download breakdown. Uh, once again, a big, big shout out to Proton10MG on Twitter. None of these videos will be possible without him, so... Uh, make sure you hit him up with a follow. And uh, that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are excited for the upcoming anniversary. I will be doing as much coverage of that as I possibly can, given my schedule. Uh, it's been kind of busy, kind of crazy, but I will try my best to provide, you know, the coverage that you guys have been accustomed to in previous years. And uh, thank you guys for sticking around. I know I haven't been that active recently, but I'll try my best to be more active this upcoming month with the anniversary. And uh, that's all I gotta say. Thank you so much. As always, if you like today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger. With Tiger, Uppercut Bria, signing out.